Hello and welcome. I am Nicole Arrington coming to you from Helena, Montana with Big Sky Cards. And today I have a card to show you um, using the uh, Frosted Gingerbread Bundle. And we'll kind of go ahead and get started. I'll set things aside. Or, <coughs> excuse me. So what I have is a piece of real red that is eight and a half by five and a half and we are going to hmm, can't see that. I usually like it down here we're gonna take this and we're gonna score it at two and an eighth and four and a quarter Okay, so I'm going to fold this in half at the four and the quarter mark. And then we will pull it back and score on that two and an eighth mark. Okay, then from there, I have a piece from the designer series paper. What is this one called? It is called gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper. I think it's gorgeous. I mean, even if you don't, even if you don't buy the, the, the dies and the stamps, this like paper, I don't know, can I get, just has so many like Christmassy themes on it that, you know, you can just truly, truly work with it. I mean, or at least I'm finding that I can truly work with it no matter what, with or without this set. So I'll, I'll just I'll just put that out there. Um, I'm gonna glue this down. I have this designer series paper. It is five and a quarter by one and seven eighths. And I'm gonna glue it down to my piece of paper, like so. And then I'm going to stick a pin in it, so to speak, and I am going to stamp. I am I'm just going to set that aside. So I'm going to grab the real red and a piece of scrap, basic white, and I'm going to stamp this in real red. like so. Clean off my stamp. Put that away. Or only halfway because I want to use it again. And then I'm going to grab Granny Apple Green. And stamp another in granny apple green oh well we'll try that again okay all right that looks a lot better set that aside Pull that out. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my die and I'm going to line this up, run this through the cut and emboss machine to cut each of those out to go on the front of my card. Voila. I'm going to pause that, and so I'll be right back with those all cut out. All right, so I am back. Um, as you can see, I just use a little bit of washi tape to just hold hold that die in place so it doesn't bounce around. Um, I personally have had more issues with a, with 
the precision, those magnetic precision um, platforms jumping around more than anything. So I just, I don't like them. Um, but again, if you don't have washi tape, you can use um, post-it notes. I mean, so many things just absolutely work. So we'll go ahead and move on. Move that up here. Okay. And so what I want to do is just make some peppermint candies here in the corner. And I am going to take the real red and granny apple green. Real red's gonna be that one. Granny apple green's gonna be this. And I am just gonna make some granny apples, sorry. Rotate a little, bring those in like so. Oh, see, like that, maybe a couple like that, and then I can fill in with that. upside down. That can be a good, good old fashioned mess. I'll leave the real red. Let's see. Put that away. Okay. From the um, Frightful Tags, I, in, I did pre-cut a tag in basic white, which I'm going to stamp the sentiment, sending you peppermint kisses. Like so. And then the other thing I did use is from the um, Hippo. Friends are like Hippo thing. Oh, I forget the name. Hippo happiness. Um, that Hippo Happiness Bundle, oh, and I forget the not die sp specific name, but I did pre-cut this in real red, just to be all ready. So, I'll take this, I'll glue this on the back of well, that will be my insert. Okay. Like that. And then down here we're going to have some the ornaments hanging one hanging over the other. Like that. So that'll stick over a little bit like that. And I'm gonna stick that one on that. I know I come off the screen a little bit because I don't I obviously craft in my lap <laughs> okay hmm. okay we can put 
that there. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. I'll have to get out my little rubber and erase that. But we'll take care of that. So yeah, when you do that, be extra careful here. Um, and then I want to add a little bow. So yeah, when you put the glue down on that one, don't put it all over the whole thing. Only put it on about half. And then here, I couldn't find anything that I wanted because I didn't get the gold ribbon like I should have. I wanted it, but I didn't get it because I think it was out of stock at the time. I was like, oh, I'll get that later. Didn't do it. So I have some ribbon. It was part of last year's but it was on clearance. I, it still could be on clearance, um, but it's the Snowflake Splendor Ribbon. And it's just got this great shimmer color to it. What I love about it is it's that slightly translucent, slightly um, white in color, and it be colored with the blends so I really like some of that that we can do that um, my glue dots I think I would lose the film if I use my glue dots because they're buried slightly under my wiring and that's gonna lose my film so I'm gonna use a bit of liquid glue and I'm just gonna have to hold that there for all oh, 30 seconds or so and often what I do, like this, so I put something slightly heavy. So you can use liquid glue, as I am doing. A glue dot just happens to be so much quicker. But that will work. It will hold. I'll just clean up my stamps while we're waiting for it. So, you know, if you're just making a single card and you're trying to save a little money, you know, use your liquid glue. It does work or you have a spot you can set those aside. Um, so that really does help. And I think that'll be, it'll hold well enough for right now. So there we kind of made that accordion Z fold card. Oh, isn't it just so sweet? So thank you so much for watching my video. If you'd like any of the items I have demonstrated here for you today, you can shop my online store that link is provided below, um, as well as that shopping list and a list of the dimensions that of on the card that I use. So if I forgot anything, hopefully it's there. If please feel free to leave comments, I like those. Um, it also really helps if you can give me thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And then if you have any questions, you can leave that in the comment section and or else you can email me at BigSkyCardsNicole at gmail.com. And then in addition to that, you want to make cards, you just don't can't find the time because that's how life is. I know. I understand. Um, you can check out BigSkyCards.com where I have kits in sets of four and all you need is glue to put them together. Um, so everything is stamped, punched, die cut, paper is cut, scored, just ready for you to fold and put together. And all you need is your memento glue. So that is it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Happy stamping. Bye.